but now I can't like we've been sitting here for what like 10 minutes trying to start this thing in the sun oh yeah and the springs broken so every time I have to wind it up like this and the tops dented and the tops missing and the and the and the fuel tank is leaking and the this thing doesn't work anymore <laughs> We just can go forward, not neutral, not backwards. And learning to drive the dinghy was a little bit complicated for me. So I she had she had about the first time she she dropped the dinghy, even though they were miles apart. We started out and, it, and there was not a lot of wind and it was sprinkling a little bit, but man, how beautiful is this? You guys want to see something cool? We're about 25 miles offshore. It's between the land and offshore, it's night and day. just about directly offshore and there's a huge system behind us right heading towards the land. The wind's coming from over here about this direction and it's blue skies and beautiful. So, looks like it's going to be a good night of sailing. Wow that's crazy. You can't even see the land anymore. Blue and beautiful, dark and stormy. Blue and beautiful, dark and crappy. Oh, that looks cool. We're like 10 miles off the coast of Costa Rica. What we've seen from Costa Rica so far looks pretty much the same as Panama, doesn't it, Jay? Why are you screaming? Because the motors are so loud. Because the motors are so loud. Yes, I think so, Kimster. Yeah. I just woke up from my nap. And boy, am I hot. More garbage. Let's go see what it is. We just picked up a buoy. That's a buoy we picked up. This is Costa Rica. There's absolutely no wind here. Like at all. Look at the wind eggs and the sail. Okay, slow down! No! Except for our man overboard drills, this trip has been pretty uneventful. No wind, no fun. We really have to to go to Punta Arenas because in Golfito it's hard to check in. There is a, it's the most southern entry port. We heard a lot of bad things about checking in there. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be pretty difficult and a lot of people get turned away. So we want to go directly to, to Punta Arenas where uh, the marina is where we want to haul out. And we have to be there by Friday because if not, Lucy's going to miss her flight. That sucks. It sucks, but I hope we're getting along well, and I hope I will not lose my flight. It's your first passage to another country. Yeah, it's the first time I leave Panama. <laughs> <laughs> but sadly, I'm not going to be able to see a lot of this people. Seems like the system coming on over there could give us some wind, or is giving us some wind already. <laughs> Want to try sailing, Lucy? No, sailing didn't work. We're motor sailing now, Dal. We're doing six knots to the engine cell. Can you see my tears? Do 
pussy's sick. Ear infection. Oh god, what am I gonna do with you guys? Two of the Costa Rica crossing. It's been a very, very nice day, but no wind at all. I had a minor freak out this morning and almost pulled into Gofito, but we were told by a couple people not to check in there because we don't have yellow fever shots. So Punta Arenas is the northernmost bay and that's where most of the cruisers come down and check into. So we're just gonna go up there. It's like an extra 100 miles. It's not a huge deal if it would freaking be some wind. We stopped the motors for dinner and lunch. And we got to sail for like maybe 10 minutes today. <laughs> but the sunset's really nice. What you get? <laughs> Sitting there watching the sunset, minding my own business. Fun fact this island behind me, which you can't really see that well, is the most struck place by lightning in Central America. It's like a lightning rod. Pretty cool. And it's also got one of the only coral fields in Central America, or maybe the only. I don't even know what a coral field is, but I want to go there. So we're going to come back there after the bottom's done. Just motoring. Yay! It seems like we're gonna make it in time to deliver Lucy to Costa Rica. It's day three of our passage, our windless passage. The first day we had a few hours of good wind. We were doing 10 knots. It was beautiful. Beautiful sail on really flat water. So it felt like four knots, but we were really making 10. So it was pretty good. And now we are 30 miles away from Punta Arenas and it's 10 o'clock at 6 knots that's doable we're probably gonna have to check in tomorrow but at least we're not gonna arrive at night let's hope we're able to check in on Saturday today no today is Thursday really yeah. I thought it's Friday no oh that's cool <laughs> good we're gonna play all weekend and Lucy's gonna leave and then we're gonna figure out uh, whether we can go whether we can go in the yard or not just joking it's not that loud go ahead did you check this out that's num that's number two 
the, the second Panama, actually I think it's like this. Here's number one. Ooh, number one is in even worse shape. <laughs> yeah, there's not much left. That's eight months, that's what it'll, it'll do to your flag. There's the Columbia one. That's at least three quarters of it left. What just happened, Lucy? They're going to check if we fit in the whole lot. Probably <laughs> don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we just went from Panama to Costa Rica. Ah, that's not that far. Online, they said that they um, can lift boats that are six meters wide, and now we arrive here the first. The first thing they say is, yeah, like five and a half, but we're not sure. James even wrote them an email to us. Exactly. Yeah. Let's, do Let's see. Let's but we made it! Yeah. Let's drink a glass of wine and enjoy. So we made it to Costa Rica, <laughs> and apparently you get a monkey for everybody that checks in. It's their own monkey. So I don't know the name of this one yet. But he likes bananas and apples. I've learned not to pet monkeys, so <laughs> I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Hey, man. Come on, really? Yeah, no, get uh, uh. Get her. <gasps> oh no, you look so cute with a monkey on your shoulder. Yeah. I can't use that. Yeah. Can we have one? Yeah, we can. He's just a little guy. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't. He owns us now. Can you say something? Can we do it? <laughs> After seeing this footage, you can probably guess who of us three voted for the animal tours and who did not. I have to admit that I'm really glad that we went though because especially our tour guide from the crocodile tours was super knowledgeable. We saw a bunch of crocodiles. First a few little ones and later their bigger counterparts. Whoa, are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my god, look at that tail, dude. How much does this thing weigh? Holy oh, oh, That is a huge crocodile. We made it back to the boat. We bought a bunch of fruits and coconuts and lobsters to do a goodbye party for Lucy because she's gonna leave us tomorrow. We had a great day. We've seen monkeys, crocodiles from closer than... Dude, I grabbed its you, tail. You probably should. I think Lucy's outside taking care of the coconuts already, opening them so we can have some cocolocos. I believe we showed you guys already how you do it. You open the coconut, put some ice in there and some rum. Mm. <laughs> how did you open it? With a spoon. With a spoon! Look at her! Jungle woman! <laughs> I want some rum and ice in it. Ich glaube, wir müssen mal kurz Pause mit der Kokosnuss. Kokosnuss. Ist bereit oder möchtest du noch irgendwas über die Kokosnuss erzählen? Unfortunately, I completely overcooked the lobster that we had for Lucy's goodbye party. But at least the Kokolokos were cold and they were good and strong. And when it was time for Lucy to leave the next day, a little more enthusiasm this time, please. I'm not in fucking enthusiastic. This is pissing me off. I'm not happy about this. Maybe should give her a kiss. What the fuck happened, dude? There's more gas. You can do it. 
<clears throat> Goodbye, Lucy. You're so much more than just a cook for us. We love you, and you have a free bunk aboard of Singara whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs>